Hi guys, so uh, we are back on uh, online and uh, we are going to install um, Active Directory domain services. Okay, so this is your Active Directory. So this is a continuation of our uh, uh, earlier tutorials like um, the ICT, the installation of a server. So now we are going to install ADDS, uh, in short for Active Directory domain services. Okay, so uh, let's log in. What's happening? Okay, so right now uh, you can see our uh, server. We try to click on rules. There are no rules installed, and you can see it here. Okay, so we can uh, minimize this one. Uh, in server 2008, we still have the DC promo thing, so uh, we are going to go for uh, uh, this one. So uh, you can type it here, um, DC promo, promo dot exe. Type that one and then you can go. Okay, so it will do that. Uh, Active Directory domain services binaries are being installed. Please wait. Okay, so we're going to wait, of course. Okay, so uh, we are going to use advanced mode installation. No. Uh, we can go for next already nice. and then uh, operating systems compatibility improve security settings and Windows Server affect older versions of Windows so at this point we can just go for next and then uh, what are we going to do choose a deployment on configure of uh, deployment configuration so if we have an existing uh, forest what it means is if you have a domain like you want to create a secondary domain wherein if the other one fails, the other one's there. So we can go over there. Now what we are actually doing right now is create a new domain in a new forest. So we pick the box and go there. Now here comes uh, your uh, name of the forest root domain. Okay, so um, what we are going to put here would be, um, uh, you have an example here, I'll just uh, say um, test. Dot com. Oh no, uh, let's say uh, ginard.com. Okay, then we could go for next. Alright, so after that, after that installation, uh, if you're going to try to see it here, it's uh, actually, it actually said set for its functional level. So for its functional level is Windows 2000. So if you are going to read this one, it says functional level provides all Active Directory domain services features that are available in Windows 2000. So our level right now is actually uh, Windows Server 2008. So that's what we are going to select. And then after selecting that, since we are installing Server 2008, we can go for next. So after that again, uh, so we have this page. Uh, we'll leave that configuration there so this can also be a DNS server for our uh, domain so let's just click next so after that after clicking next uh, it will here it says examining DNS configuration and then uh, a delegation for DNS server cannot be created because the authoritative burn zone cannot be found in the run Windows DNS server so uh, let's just continue yes so the next thing we're um, going to be asked is the uh, this one, the um, uh, NTDS, NTDS, SysVault. Actually, these uh, directories are um, uh, where the database are located for log files and everything. By, uh, we can leave everything by default, but actually it is recommended that SysVault folder and database and log files should always be stored in a different location. But as, as of now, we do not have any locations uh, designed for that but on your CSS we can leave it that way um, and uh, we can just go and press next and then uh, this password is actually uh, different from your password it's actually a restore password so it is uh, recommended that your password here will be different from your um, uh, administrator password but um, for love environment I will just use same password and then there we go. And then next. 
oops and then next then we can reboot on completion so after it is completed it will reboot so our um, uh, server has already restarted so you can see it here uh, I named my domain as ginard.com so it says the domain here is ginard so we can log in as um, uh, an administrator then there you go let's try to see if our uh, um, ADDS is installed so you can see it here uh, this is a summary of our uh, um, server so you can see it here full computer name dcgnr.com domain gnr.com so you try to see the local area connection is uh, the IP address of our server when we have um, uh, inputted that one when we configured the ICT so uh, that is how to install your ADDS your active directory domain services okay so see you next time we are going to try to install uh, DHCP um, uh, same also with um, adding users and all okay uh, we are actually uh, having the objective here of uh, the uh, newly added um, objectives for the uh, CHAs that becomes CSSNC2. Okay, see you next time.